You hear about them before? Yes. Okay, so if I may ask, do you know any example of the financial statements? Mm. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. I don't think I understand your question. Like examples of the financial state, any financial statements. Yeah, if I say financial statements, can you give me any example that you may think of? Okay, um, let me put it down for you. Just to remind you. First one is called the statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive statement uh, income. Eh? Okay. But it is well known as most people know it as what because books use different uh, terms. Maybe you know it as a statement. Are we together? So most books they use this because we are using standards. Okay. Okay. So under standards, we call it statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income, but it is formally known as income statement. So either way, you can call it the same thing. So don't have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. So here right. is where we check. Is where we check the business financial performance. So I'm going somewhere. Don't 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 be confused. I'm going somewhere. That's why I, I I I'm talking about this because I don't want to just go into a question. So that it is um, whenever I just use them. Okay. I think you get my point. So <laughs> yes, know, I do. For me, can I ask I, something? Can I ask? Um, yeah. on this, uh, okay, is it possible for me to record this and then I can? Have a look at it later. I'm also recording it from my side. I'm not sure if you can record from your side. It's on also chat. Oh, okay. Now, if you're recording it, then I'll the leave it for you. Yeah, I can send you the link there after and then so that we can go and and check me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No problem. So firstly, like I said, when you are running a business, Obviously, your business must be profitable, okay? Yes. So it means your business is performing well financially. Okay. Okay? So if, if my business is not performing well, it means I'm making a loss. When I make a loss, it means my financial performance is not up to the expectations, okay? So we need to make profit. That's why the word profitability is very much important okay yes so if you're in business you make profit if you don't make profit you must find ways of making profit that's why most people sell businesses and then before you buy a business from any person make sure that you ask this question why are you selling this business because not most people cannot sell a business if the business is making profit there must be something wrong there unless if they're relocating okay <laughs> okay Yes, I'm just so. So again, don't just buy. There are other factors that you must check. But at the same time, if my business performs, it means it, I will end up being in a very good financial position. So we need another financial statement called statement of financial position. It is known as, I think you know this, balance sheet. Have you ever heard about this? Yes. Yes. So a balance sheet is where we check the business financial position. So mm -hmm. these two statements are interrelated because if 
the business is not performing, it means our financial position is going to be impacted negatively. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It's like you, you are working. But if you can decide not to work anymore, you just wake up, you sleep, you eat, you wake up. Do you think that you're going to be happy at the end of the month? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't because you need to perform. That's why around December, you know, most people, when, you know, December is where we go up and down. It's where we say, keep change when you buy things. I give you 100 rent, I say keep change. It's because I'm in a good financial what? Position. Because I worked so hard during the yeah so performance mm. will always give us the financial what position position are we together mm. together now so under the statement of profit and loss is where we are going to look at incomes and expenses can you see now so the incomes and expenses, obviously, like in your case, you normally compare your income and expenses to check if you have got profit or loss. Okay. Let's say you are selling perfumes. So if you are selling perfumes, you can buy them for 10 rent and sell them for two rent. Mm -hmm. Can you see now? Yes. You want to gain. So you must make sure that whatever you make, what you make, you call them incomes. You compare with the expenses which you incur. So your incomes must always be more than expenses to show that you are making what? Profit. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. You will see by the time when we compile statement of cash flow, you will see that when it comes to the first a section, we will be focusing on what? Incomes and expenses. And where do we find those income and expenses? We find them in the statement of profit and loss. For now, I just want you to know that in the profit and loss, we put income and expenses because it is where we want to determine whether we made profit or loss. Any question? Okay. All right. So far, are you feeling like you're going somewhere? Yes, we are. No problem. Now, let's talk about the statement of a financial position also known as balance sheet here we only need i don't know when when you did your your your, your basic accounting or introduction i think that you did something called account equation account equation yes account equation is a shorter version of balance sheet here we only need assets liabilities owners equities or you can just call it equities it doesn't matter okay so in the balance sheet or statement of financial position is where you are going to find this so this can only be found in the statement of what financial position you will see by the time when we compile our statement of cash flow you will realize that when we look at the investment activities, there's a section called investment activities. It's where we focus on the statement of financial position because we'll be looking at the assets. And the other section is called financing activities. We're going to look at the liabilities and owner's equity. But you will see we are going to focus on this part. Even though sometimes they combine the two, I'm just trying to give you the difference between the two, uh, the two statements. The other one is for the financial position. Obviously, if you want to check your financial position, you always look at your assets. Yeah? You always look at what you own. And you also look at your own money. Can you see now? Yes, what your worth. That. Your worth. So sometimes we say some people are rich. Only to find that they are not rich. is because we are looking at the cars they drive. You can realize that that car, they even... Oh, that car or maybe they even bought it on credit it doesn't, doesn't mean that they are rich but you know we normally assess people based on the cars that they drive but the one who doesn't even drive who uses it you can find that he's richer than them because he has got a very good financial one position he has got the assets but the assets he has got the less assets so 
if he's wealthy, he has got the wealth. Remember, the owner if it is the same as the wealth or the wealth part of the business. Okay. I think with when it comes to uh, the financial statement, I think you, I just summarized it. So you, it will make sense as the time progresses, unless if you put a question. No, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, like that. So let's take it a bit uh, further. Um, just want to check the question quickly. No. This is the question. Question two. As you can see, it just put many, many marks. Okay. Now, this is, as you can see here, they give us this record. And can you see here, they call it statement of profit and loss? Yes. Like I said, here you only find incomes and expenses. Expenses, yeah. And this one, on top of this one here, even though they did not write anything on top, this list consists of assets, ownerships, and the liabilities. If I may ask you, which statement is this one? Statement of financial uh, position. That's true. Even though they didn't write, because you can't find an expense here. You can't. Everything that you're going to try and check. This is an asset, an asset, an asset, an asset, an asset. Can you see now? Mm. This is equal. This is equity, this is equity, liability, 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 and liability. I'm just saying, I don't say you must memorize them. I'm just showing off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah. So this is what I so they will always give you the statement. You cannot compile cash flow without this statement. It's not possible, it's not. Okay. At your workplace, do you do work in finance or maybe some is just another department? Uh, no, I don't work in, in finance. Okay, no problem. Ne? So, at your company, I think they've got a, every company has got a finance department. Ne? Yes. I'm telling you, they compile what you call the cash flow statement. But they will never ever compile cash flow statement without without compiling compiling these two statements. Never, it's not possible. Okay. Are we together? Together. Now, why cash flow statement? What cash flow? Like cash flow. Let me highlight. Cash flow statement. It is called cash flow statement. You can call it statement of cash flow. But you need to understand why. This is the magic weight. Can you see this? Cash. Yeah, cash. Mm. Now, let me give you an example about the statement of this statement. Can you see this statement? Mm -hmm. It has got incomes and expenses. But when you compile this statement, for example, let's look at revenue. Remember, revenue is the same as sales. It's another term for sales. Like if you are selling, yes. like if you are selling, yeah, it's sales. So let's talk about the sales. When we record in the statement of profit and loss, whether the sales are for cash or on credit, it doesn't matter. We combine them together. Did you hear what I said? Um, yes, I did. So in other words, for example, here we've got staff costs. Can you see the staff costs? Yes, I see. Whether you pay them or you are still going to pay them, it doesn't matter. We need to use them in the statement of profit and loss. That's why in accounting here, we use what you call accrual accounting. I don't know if you've ever heard about accrual accounting. No, I haven't. 
we we don't use cash account in other words even though you still have to receive the income you must record mm -hmm. it even if you okay. still have to pay the expense you must record it so in other words these figures it doesn't matter whether you still have to pay or you still have to receive the fact is they are part of statement of profit and loss can you see now yes i do but because remember they always say cash is king so we want to know can you see this profit that we made this profit of seventy eight thousand? Mm -hmm, that's it we want to know out of this profit of seventy eight thousand, how much is cash does that make sense okay. yes it does it doesn't mean that we have got a cash of seventy eight thousand. No, no 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 we can find that out of this seventy eight thousand, only eight thousand is cash does that make sense yes it does so how can we know that only eight thousand is cash is by compiling cash flow statement because cash flow statement will only tell us about the cash that we made does okay. that make sense yes it does. that's why we need to compile cash flow statement because we just want to know the cash we have because the profit is not real cash the profit includes cash we just want to know out of this profit how much is cash only yeah. can you see that yes i see that that's why i said you cannot compile cash flow statement without the two statements okay. are you good yes i'm good you'll be okay don't worry if you are not okay but i know you're okay i am okay <laughs> yes i know you know i'm always worried sometimes with my students you know sometimes they you wish you can just have a machine which can tell you whether they are pretending or not but i know you're, i'm not saying you're pretending but i'm just saying sometimes man, i'm just concerned you know Okay. Just wait for a moment. I'm just gonna scroll. So I'm just waiting. My system is a bit slow. I'm just waiting for it to respond. But for time being, if you've got any question you may ask, I'm just waiting for it to breathe. There are no questions yet. No question yet, okay. Okay, now, this is the additional information. Don't worry, it will make sense by the time when we continue. At the moment, don't worry, I'm going to explain it to you nicely. So, our first requirement they say draft the statement of cash flow for DACY LTD for year ended 30 April using the direct method. After taking into consideration the following information we must comply with IFRS ignore the comparative figures but show all the calculations the notes to the statement of cash flow are not required so the notes are not required so don't worry for now don't worry about the notes that much so okay. what I want us to know there are two methods of compiling cash flow we have got the direct method and the indirect method method okay okay so for now i don't want you to worry about the other method let's focus on the direct method in future you know future can be tomorrow can be somewhere don't worry so in future we can for we are going to focus on the indirect for now let's just worry about the direct method okay okay for me direct between the direct and indirect method the one that has got more information is the indirect so direct for me is easier. That's why they call it direct. It's not that longer. Can you see now? <laughs> okay. Yes. So, but for now, let's focus on the direct method. Are we together? Together. Yes. Now, there are 
three sections. A cash flow statement consists of three questions. Okay? I'm going to talk about each section at a time. Okay? Okay. Now, this is the format. Uh, I just came up with this for a uh, table, but it's okay. The first section that I want us to focus on, this section is the cash flow from operating activity. Can you see this one? Yes, I see it. So the first section is the cash flow from operating activities. Don't worry about the other section. I'm going to talk about the other section as the time progresses. Okay? Okay. Now, this first section, can you see what I'm going to do, ne? Because I don't want this, because I'm recording it for you, ne? I don't want it to be long, ne? Because okay. sometimes you will, so I'm just going to cut it into different parts, ne? Let me just cut it for now. Okay. 